All right, brother, here's your drink. All right, thank you, man. Over here. Well, guys, got a little bit different look this week to Blurred Lines, as you may have noticed. Jude Marino's not here. I've got Eric the Lippy Lipscomb sitting in for him. It is Mardi Gras down here in the south after all. And last I saw Jude, he was on the corner of Bourbon and Toulouse somewhere. He didn't know what was going on, so we're going to try this without him. Man, what a great, great last couple of weeks on the new second round of this contest. I'm going to go over the results real quick, and then Lippy's going to give you some of his predictions moving into the next round, but we're going to try to make it quick for you because we had some really, really good rounds here. First in the left bracket, first match, Chris Scott versus Dave Freeman. Chris Scott was leading this yesterday going into the last day. I tell you what, Dave Freeman comes from behind, pulls a rabbit out of a hat, has a $3,500 day in outbound. Unbelievable, but Dave Freeman takes the victory. I guess that coaching with Katie has helped out quite a bit. Katie, you're welcome. Scott, you let us down. Next, Melanie Dejizewicz versus Breon Nichols. We knew this was gonna be a good one. You got two of the towers going against each other. Yesterday, less than 1% separated this group. Breon, I love you, man. You know I love you. And that's why I can't wait to say it. I'll see you in the next round. Breon takes this one over Melanie. And you know what? With the Melanie loss, you know what that does. I believe Steve Rowley picked her for the winner. He did? So yeah. I guess we won't have a repeat champion this year. Melanie's out. Way to go, Breon. Next, Todd Chumley versus Ashley Williams. We all knew it would happen. I picked Ashley because he beat up on me last week, but you know what? He had to use everything in his arsenal to beat my team. Chumley just takes it to him. Chumley's moving on to the next round, and another inbound team bites the dust here. Is there anybody left in inbound? We got a couple. We got a couple. Next, Chris Delner versus Carlos the King Kessler. Carlos, first of all, thank you for catching that little snafu there on the numbers yesterday. They didn't update quite correctly. And because of your diligence, you get to congratulate Chris Delner as he moves on to the next round. Taking out the king, you've got another inbound team biting the dust. Delner just said, ain't nobody got time for that. The moves king on. is going down? What? Goes down. All right, let's move over to the other side of the bracket. Tyler Gray. Now, this was Jude's pick to win the whole thing. Tyler Gray and that, that, that big e-com team covering the entire country, but you know what? He's going against Freddie Ortiz. Now, Freddie, I'm still inspired by the speech. The guy's got the best hair in Cox business. Anybody that looks like Cruella DeVille with the highlights does not deserve to lose in this tournament, and Freddie, you didn't lose. You are moving on to the next round. Congratulations. Now we got Joe Otto oh. versus yours truly, Eric. This is a bad memory. Well, this was just an old-fashioned butt whooping. I don't know if I can say butt whooping on here, but old-fashioned butt whooping. Otto is making a statement. I believe Otto was bro's pick to he win was. this thing. He so was. at least bro is the last man standing, I guess, in the competition between Rowley and bro. But you know, Joe, I got to give it to you. I'm going to have to retract my statement about the idiot savant. You're not an idiot savant. From this point on, I'm just going to call you sir and congratulate you as you move on to the next round. All right, Grady versus Jeff Lindauer. <laughs> oh, I mean, man. come on. I should have known better. It was against my better judgment to pick Lindauer, but these two, again, separated by 1% yesterday. So it really all came down to what they sold yesterday. At the end, Grady says, yeah, bro. And Grady moves on to the next round. Lindauer, good job, but it's Grady moving on. All right, the last match of the second round, Kerry Stevens versus Jared Lang, the last inbound standing, Jared Lang. Well, this was a real nail biter here. I mean, Jared, apologize, that's my, my ride when I leave flying by right now. But Jared shows no mercy on the newcomer in Kerry Stevens and beats her by a mere 75%. That's a way to show mercy there, Jared. What, what, a, what a great partner you are. But uh, at least we know that he didn't hold back anything. There was no sandbag in here. Nope. Um, so Jared, you move on. Last inbound man standing. Uh, let's take a look now. I'm going to have Eric roll into next week's matchup to see what we can expect. All right, so first matchup, we got Freeman versus Breon. Look, guys, I got to stick with my partner over in the East Coast on this one. And then the end, Breon's the only man left standing, and he's got one thing to say. One thing to say. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Oh, there Breon. he is. 
Breon bringing it home for us. Next, we got Chum Lee versus Delner. Look, Patrick, after the comments you made about Chum Lee and his mirror, I think Chum Lee's out for the kill. There's nothing stopping this guy. It's Chum Lee with the win on this one. Delner, that wasn't me. That was him making that pick. Just saying. Chum Lee, bring it home for us. Next, we got Ortiz versus Otto. I mean, look, we got Corella Deville versus the idiot Savant. Uh, you're calling sir you, now? You said it. You said it. Look, after the whooping that Otto put on me, Freddie, I love you, and I love the hair and the inspirational videos about your daughter and the soccer team. But look, you're going down this time. Otto with the win. This is a big matchup early in the – well, actually late in the tournament. We're at the Elite Eight now, but this is a couple of heavyweights in the retention going at it. And finally, we got Grady versus Lang. Look, I'll cut to the chase on this one, boys. Only person moving on in this round is Lang. All the way, 160%? 160%. Really? Guys, I mean, Jared, what a great week. Just a couple of notes about the uh, competition this past round. Jared Lang leads all scores with 160%, so he would have beat everybody this everybody. week. Let's see if he's got anything left. In the consolation bracket, my team won it all the way through yesterday. Kim Duran jumps up, passes my team, so great job. You're leading the consolation bracket. Um, Does this mean I'm joining the consolation bracket? You're in the consolation bracket, but you're at the bottom. Yeah. Anyway, this is a historic month for our strategic sales. Still going strong. Right now, as a channel, we're pacing to 994000 Not quite the million, so we need to pick it up a little bit. But just to give you an idea of what we got left, you got one inbound team with Jared. You've got four retention teams and three outbound teams. So it'll be a good match towards the end here. Everybody have a great week. We're coming at you from sunny Florida. Got the kickoff going on. Right now we're inside. Well, we're supposed to be inside, but, we're you not. know, have a great week, and we'll talk to you after the end of the next round. All right, guys.